the need is too great. Canada could raise immigration targets despite housing crunch. Mark Miller is announcing new targets on November 1st. This is an article from Bloomberg News uh, written by Randy Tantong Knight. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government won't lower its immigration targets despite growing criticism that drastic population growth worsens existing housing shortages. In one of his first interviews a week into the new cabinet role, Immigration Minister Mark Miller said the government will have to either keep or raise its annual targets for permanent residents of about half a million. That's because of diminishing number of working age people relative to the number of retirees and the risk it poses to public service funding, he said. Quote, I don't see a world in which we lower it. The need is too great, said Miller, who's expected to announce new targets on November 1st. Whether we, re whether we revise them upwards or not is something I have to look at, but certainly I don't think we're in any position of wanting to lower them by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, globally speaking, advanced economies are confronting similar challenges from decreasing birth rates and aging workforces, and many are competing for skilled workers. While immigration for some countries is a divisive issue that can polarize voters and even topple a government, Canada has comfortably relied on public support to open its doors more widely for working-age newcomers. Miller's comments suggest the government is still counting on that backing to grow its population rapidly to stave off long-term economic decline. Trudeau's government has consistently raised its target for permanent residents. Last year, foreign students, temporary workers, and refugees made up another group that's even larger, bringing the total arrivals to a record 1 million. I love coffee. Coffee's so good. In the short term, however, that massive growth has strained major urban centers and exacerbated housing shortages. We already had a housing shortage, even without the immigration. This makes it worse. Uh, in the 12 months from uh, 12 months up to March, four to five international immigrants or international migrants arrived in Canada for every newly started unit of housing construction. That's the highest ratio of new Canadians to new homes on record, going back in data to 1977. Let me read that for you one more time. In the 12 months up to March, four to five international migrants arrived in Canada for every newly started unit of housing construction. So we're bringing in four and a half, there you go, four and a half, four and a half people, or four and a half, uh, yeah, four and a half people for every new home that goes in. Uh, this is probably ameliorated a little bit um, because they're probably bringing in families and they're not just individuals. It's not, you don't need five houses for five people. You probably need one house for five people. Many Canadians now criticize the government for not only doing too little to boost supply, but also making it worse by adding too much demand from Im immigration. But Mark Miller pushed back saying, we have to get away from this notion that immigrants are the major cause of housing pressure and increase in home prices, he said. We tend not to think in longer historical arcs or in generational terms. But if people want dental care, health care, and affordable housing that they expect, the best way to do that is to get skilled labor in this country. And that is so true. We, we have a workforce shortage right now that I'm sure a lot of you are feeling. And that's what fuels our public services. And a big one is pensions. Uh, anyway. Uh, on August the 2nd, National Bank Financial's chief economist, uh, Stefan Marion, called, the, called on the government to revise its immigration policy until housing construction catches up with demand. Marion said the government's decision to open the immigration floodgates led to a record imbalance between housing supply and demand, and home builders can't keep up with the influx. True again. What we really need is we, we need more developers. Can we bring in immigrants that already have development companies? I'm just being a little little tongue-in-cheek there. Anyway, what do you think of all this? Tell me in the comments below. I'm Byron Armstrong at REMAX Kelowna. This has been another Real Estate Nugget.